In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get a custom bot name with Stream Elements. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream is harder, not harder. Before I begin, as we ever Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. There's actually two ways of doing this, one is with ground control and one is with OBS Alive. I do have a video on ground control, so if you want to do it that way, check this one out. It also only works like that if you use Streamlabs OBS, but it wouldn't make sense to use Stream Elements when you use Streamlabs OBS anyway, I guess. But if you use that, go watch the ground control one. In this one, we're going to talk about the method on OBS Live how you can get there. So you go to obs.live. I'll leave the link underneath in the description. You will see this. Click on download OBS Live. You will just go through it like any other installer. And if you don't have OBS installed yet, click on the OBS when installing it. And if you have already installed OBS but don't have OBS Live yet, only install OBS Live. So you got two things that you can tick and only take the OBS Live one. When you've done that, you get something like this. For me, I've got like everything on here already. This is just normal OBS and we see activity feed and chat. You might see some more windows like, um, let me see, media requests right here. You can click these away and always get them back by going to stream elements and then um, docs here, you can click them away or get them back. You can set it up with the install wizard or if you skip it, you could see this and we can go here to activity feed menu, stream settings, custom bot name. So here we have a custom bot name and I can set it basically to treebot, which is my bot, my own streamer account or stream elements. The way you do this is you go down here and you add a custom bot here. So for me, it says remove custom bot because I already got a custom bot here, but for you, it will say that you need to add one here. If you click on that, you can authorize your bot account or just your streamer account as a bot account, but I would recommend making an account on Twitch. Log out on Twitch, make a new account, call it your name bot, so for me it was Dreebot, and connect it to here with the authenticator. We can test if it works by clicking on here and we can see that my Dreebot, which is account I own, uh, basically says reporting for duty. So we see that it works. If we switch to another one and I test it, it will say stream elements or just say tree. So if you do not want to make another account, but just use your own, you can do this as well. But I recommend making a bot account. This way it's clear that the bot is saying it and not you yourself. If you're not logged in with your actual account, you can log in right here. You see that I am logged in with Truy, just my Twitch account. So make sure that that's also logged in because otherwise it won't work. It won't know which chat it actually needs to do it. If you're not logged in, you can click on here and for me, it says log out, but you can log in here as well. I'm currently not on the latest OBS version. It's because I'm really afraid of updating OBS and sometimes it breaks things. So I usually just, you know, not doing it. <laughs> so waiting with updating for a bit. Uh, so if you like, hey, that's, that's an older OBS. Yes, it is. <laughs> If you want to know more about stream elements, I do have a ton of videos about stream elements. So hop into this playlist all about stream elements and find out how you can improve your stream with stream elements. See you there!